Hi there. It's Thursday. It's a special stream because I'll be away this weekend celebrating my birthday with a camping trip in my camper that my wife and I have been restoring over the last few years. Uh, feels good. Feels good to be here on a Thursday. Those who've been around a while, I used to do some like Let's Play content on Thursdays. That might come back in the near future. But for now, I've got Tomb Raider in my sights, and I am, um, I think, nearing the end of the game. Let's see how far I am. 17 hours into the game. 69% complete, but I think that includes, like, to Platinum, or at least to 100% in the, the game, and there's a lot of collectibles and things. I've been doing my best to catch them, but... Yeah. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Pavel. Nice to see you both. I hope I'm coming in loud and clear. I'm gonna get right into it. No use in waiting around. I like that menu music though. It's pretty epic and nice. How's your Thursday been? Now, for those of you who might not know it, Pavel has started to live stream. So if you haven't already, go drop him a subscription. And also Arthur Morgan has been posting a lot of content lately. If you're not subscribed to Arthur already, now's the perfect time to do so as well. Hey, Unknown, how you doing? Good afternoon. It's three o'clock in Los Angeles. Had a very busy work day. Really busy, like call after call after call after call. But that's what they pay me to do, so I'm happy to do it. Hey, Day Nick, what's up, brother? How are you? Hi, Queen Tasty. Sound, audio, and my voice all clear. Good, good, good. So, uh, at the last bit of yesterday's, sorry, yeah, yesterday's uh, session, I completed this tomb. And now I'm headed on to the rest of the storyline. Oops. <laughs> Dude Raider is in full effect. So the next thing I need to do is start the climb up to the research base. If you haven't been keeping track, we... God, it's a long story. A, an archaeological vessel full of archaeologists crash due to weather on this island. Then um, one of the archaeologists was kidnapped. I think she's actually a filmmaker who was following the crew. And they, the inhabitants of this island are basically a cult who believe in this sun queen who controls the weather and feels that the sun queen is keeping them captive on the island. The only way to get out of that captivity is to sacrifice a woman to the queen. They tried to sacrifice Sam, our friend. We got him back. Been a lot of fighting. So now the whole crew is here at the beach. We got a boat ready to go, but we can't leave. We know that the Sun uh, Queen is going to change the weather if we leave, and it could potentially be deadly. So the next move is looking like climbing, or maybe, yeah, it looks like an elevator. Oh, I like the second here. I might as well. Might as well. Buster, how you doing? Young chef, how are you? I have never played this game. You know, this is my first playthrough, so to speak. Just got this cool tool that increases the torque on pulling things open. And also when I'm like climbing across ropes, I can use it to sort of speed run that. So, no time like the present. Uh, is there anything down here that I want? Everybody having a good week? I'm gonna miss you this weekend, but like I said, I'll be camping in the camper, so I won't have access. Well, I won't have my gaming rig. I'll have some internet, so I'll be on Discord, stuff like that. Kyrie, it has been a while. Hope you've been well. Awesome Buster. Buster's getting ready to brew some homemade delicious beer. Uh, how do we control this thing, huh? Do I climb? I climb, okay. Okay, this is a place for the pick. <clears throat> Love it. Love this. I don't know if I'd call it parkour. Rock? Mountaineering? I like it. I enjoy it. I wouldn't do this because of severe danger, but... Kyrie, when you saw Team Tomb Raider, your mouth fell off. 
it's been fun. Uh, Enigma, one of our members, recommended this. And so far, I'm very, very glad that he did. Because it's been a really nice run. Alright, there's some grenades here. This might get ugly. Let me make sure I'm all loaded up. Doing good. Pilsner with some Magnum, Saz, and Bohemian. Oh, the Bohemian style Pilsner. Nice. Bohemian, however you want to say that. Kyrie, have you played this game before? If so, no spoilers, just curious. Oh, how could I upgrade the bow? I just got this compound bow and it's awesome. Listen to the music rushing in right now. Ah, there we go, There's some arrows. This is about to get interesting, I think. Uh, I haven't played the new Prince of Persia, but I played a lot of the iterations of it. So obviously the OG, really old school Prince of Persia was a great time. And I also played Sands of Time, I enjoyed that a lot. And I played a lot of Assassin's Creed games, which are based, they were originally Prince of Persia games. Love the new zipline tool, this is awesome. Yeah, I wonder about the new one. I mean, I'm, I'm interested. It looks like something fun. I might pick it up for a portable console. I think it looks good on... It might look good on that. Yeah, well said. Chef, it is, uh, it's, it's definitely giving some vibes of we're not in a good place right now. See anybody? Alright, I don't see any enemies yet. That doesn't mean they're not out here, but I don't see any right now. Uh, yeah, Kyrie, this game actually came out before the first Uncharted. And from what I understand, this one moment. Island is more than I could have hoped for. Well, of course, these islanders are absolutely insane. Those poor people from the Endurance, so... So tragic, but honestly, it adds to the drama. <laughs> Not only is this the mythical land of Yamatai, but the shipwrecks and the, the modern-day cultists, it warns at least two documentaries. Okay, so this is Maybe our blonde-haired friend. Oh, Lord, this place is going to ignite the, the world's imagination, and, the and I'm they were going to be right the in the center of it all. Such a or maybe the actor. relief. All yeah, I think he was my actor. chips were on this one number. <laughs> I just need to be careful now. This situation could spin out of control on a dime. Once I have this Matthias fellow's ear, I, I can convince him that there's much to gain in cooperating. Uh -huh. I mean, he can't honestly believe the things he preaches to these men, right? They're, they're just lost and confused. I'll help to bring them all back to civilization. The Sponsors. Oh, the sponsors are going to line up for this exclusive. The story is huge. All right, so this is the guy that we don't like very much. He kind of double-crossed us, but he was the actor uh, on the show. They were filming like a reality show about about the Endeavor and, and the archaeologists. Archaeologists. Um, so, Kyrie, I, I, I'm told that some of the developers from Tomb Raider went to Naughty Dog and helped them make Uncharted. Just so you know. Buster, how do you clean beer stone? Here in the US, we have a product called Barkeeper's Friend. I actually use it in a lot of different things, like kitchen cleaning, any kind of stainless steel cleaning. I don't know what it is. It's a white powder, but look up Barkeeper's Friend. Enigma thinks I'm gonna finish it in this stream. All right, I'll, I'll take that challenge. I'd like to. It would, it would be nice to put an end, and then next weekend I can come back with something new. <sighs> so, of course, the guy that we, Hollywood, the dude that we don't like, his name is Whitman. He sees this as an opportunity to become rich and famous. I'm questioning whether he's even going to make it out of this alive. So there's a GPS cache right here. It's collectible. 8 of 15 for this area. Not bad. Not bad, Batman. Uh, unknown needs some baking ideas. Either cake or brownies. Well, here's a deeper question. Do you like cake-like brownies? Or do you like thicker kind of... What do we call the other kind of brownie? Like, you know what I, what I mean? Like, cake-like is usually, like, f soft and fluffy, and the other kind of brownie is a little bit more thick and... Is it chocolatey? I don't know. But cake-like brownies are good for me. I, I don't eat chocolate, but if you made some like, peanut butter or whatever other kind of brownies you could make... 
Young Chef, have I ever played Stray? I played a couple of hours of it. It's a beautifully executed game. It's really cool. I own it, I think. Or it's part of PlayStation Plus, one of those kind of things. Gooey, thank you. Yeah, I found I found it to be really fun. Oh, that was a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> Buster thinks we should just bake it and name it. That's spoken like a true. Oh, I see. Just to pull these things closer. It's spoken like a true beer maker. What style is it? I don't know. Let's see when it's done. Get there. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it was a little too far. Oops, I forgot to hit the button. This is still pretty. This functionality of the the pulling tool is still a bit new to me. Made it. Whoa. Okay. Alright, that, that could have hurt. I'm going to pop down and see what's happening here. Alright, so there's just one route? Why, why would it let me go to the top? Let me see. Uh, yeah, Kyrie. Actually, I just spent... I haven't played the whole Infamous. We were just talking about this yesterday, too. I have not played the entire thing, but I spent about an hour playing it on PS3. And then I also played probably two hours of Infamous Sun or Second Sun, whatever it's called. I think they're both pretty cool. Um, oh, I'm doing too much talking. Maybe too much for me, maybe too much of a brawler, um, but the concept is fantastic. I wish um, Second Sun was a little more gritty. Uh, it, it sort of plays like it's going to be gritty, but it isn't. It was I felt it to be a little tiny bit too... Um, what's the word? Uh, mm, I don't want to say juvenile. Uh, that's not the right word for it, but I think it could have been a little more... Had more grit. Buster's been a member for nine months. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I don't want to smell any burnt popcorn. Thanks for supporting the channel. Just in case you're not a member and you're wondering what comes along with it, with membership you get access to some fun emojis that are custom to my channel. I wonder if I can get over there. Yep. And uh, members only stuff as well. Unknown Noob, thank you so much for gifting a membership and it went to Rudy Grudy. Couldn't have gone to a better guy. Thank you very much. That's also a great way to support the channel. Alright, here's some hand points. Wonder. I don't think I can get back, so I've made my choice. From the bottom up. Seriously, appreciate that, unknown. I love doing this, but it is a lot of work, and it doesn't come without cost. Some memberships, all that good stuff, super chats, really, really helped me a lot. I know you can't point them at specific people, and if I were to tell YouTube if you're listening, allow us to point it at certain people. I don't mind that it's random, but I, here's my thing. What if I had a million subscribers? Hey, Arthur gifted one and it went to Liz. Awesome, Liz has been very supportive of the channel. Hopefully, maybe we'll see her today. But I, I feel like if I had a million subscribers and it just randomly picked one, think about that. Like, it would go to just like some random person. And I, I wish you could say gift a membership to Arthur or you know, whoever you wanted to go to. But for now, this is how it works. And I guess it's it's still nice that YouTube allows you to do that. We tried on or Young Chef. <laughs> Buster's kidding. All right, I'll match. I'll I'll try. Let's see if I got the magic touch. Thank you, Buster, and welcome back, slanging and banging. He's the one who earned that.
Go to young chef. Give it to the chef. Processing. Processing. Ah! Sorry, chef. We're trying. That went to Quasrol. Is Quasrol? Quasrol? That's how I'm going to pronounce that. Yeah, thank you guys, and thank you, Unknown. I appreciate it. I want to make sure I don't miss anything, but... Whoa. Arthur. Arthur gifts another and it goes to Cavan. We're aiming all over the place. YouTube, what are you doing? We're obviously trying to get it to go to Young Chef. Thank you, Arthur. You support my channel in so many ways. I appreciate it. Every, every minute. Every membership, every super chat. Thank you so much. Next time I see you, I will have a cake made for you. Wow, well, this looks like a bit of a risky jump. But first, I'm going to pull this thing down. I don't think it's going to help. Buster, another thank you. And it went to... Pranav is live. Hey, okay. we're trying. Hey, yeehaw, how you doing? Right, I guess I'm gonna try the jump here. I'm now I'm surprised because it's been like that's what like five. Oh, we're back at another one of these guns. This is the same one. It is okay. Going back. So we're back to where we were at the beginning of the last episode. These things are wild. Those of you who are in Europe, we have stuff like this in the US. We have some installations like this, but I know there's a lot of them in European countries. Has anyone ever visited one? Gone to a historic museum about World War II era stuff? I would find that so interesting. Hey, hey, hey. queen. Queen nailed it. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Teamwork. There you go, young chef. You've got access to emojis and some members-only content. And I won't oversell it. I know I don't make a lot of members-only content, but it is on my radar. Try. Right, discover the ancient tomb. We've come back to the research facility, which we basically obliterated, but now we're going into a tomb. Is this going to be like a fall moment? I think it is. Now you got the green username and that red Mustang logo next to your name. Uh, if you were to renew every few months, it's like two months, six months, a year. They change. That's why some people have gold, some people have black, some people have. <laughs> Jeff finally unlocked the luck skill. Let's try this out. Right, right, right. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad I missed. I meant I intended. One of three GPS caches. Stay ready here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay ready with fire. Yeah. She's so quick with the lighter, I'm always impressed. Great, um, what can we call this? Atmosphere or scene design? I like this a lot. Hey, thanks again, Noob. I'll see you on Discord. Enjoy your shift at work. I hope it goes by swiftly. Hope you have a swift shift. Ooh, how do I get in there? I want that. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Alright. 
<laughs> See you there. Some shotgun ammo here. I'm gonna have to creep. Butterscotch Snickers. Now that sounds like something I can get into. Where do you find those? I've never heard of Butterscotch Snickers. We have like white chocolate Snickers, which I'm kind of a fan of, but not really when I was young because I'm allergic to chocolate and caffeine and stuff. I always got white chocolate for Easter and any other holiday that like Valentine's Day. Anything that had candy involved, I always got white chocolate. Kind of burned me out, if you can imagine it. It's the best route here. I think this is probably it. Slanging and banging. Welcome back. Slipping. Melee. Jimbo, Alice, how you doing? Nice, you're at the bar. Enjoy, enjoy. Order a pint for me, all right? Soon after we discover the tomb, they came. The Oni. First, the lights went out. Then... Then the screaming started. Was it us or them? Mm. That horrible sound. It still rings in my head. They wore the armor of my ancestors. They, they, they cut us down with ancient blades. Gunfire, shouting, blood. We couldn't stop them. Everything turned to chaos. And then silence. They were gone. Why did they leave? Why didn't they kill us all? Hmm. Captain Osaka is in command now. We, I am the captain we are leaving now. the base, but not the island. We are heading inland to the monastery. There is no other way. We must follow the Oni, all of us. If we can't control the star, we must destroy it. The star. But I know we we are all going to die. So this is a soldier from World War II that obviously experienced the Oni as well. I get a chance, I get the feeling there's a chance we're going to encounter some Oni, but the Oni seem to really be after the bad guys, so we'll see how that goes. Now Jimbo, how you doing man? How's things? Miss you. Chrono, you made a video making fun of me? Oh, well, bring it. Bring it on, man. Is it something I could or should? Uh, he didn't make it. Is it something I could or should play right now? Look at him. Just hanging out. The swell of brass makes me think something's about to happen. Uh, does that have music over it, Chrono? Ah, oh, brush up on your Francais. playing music. The two must be in the lower levels. Okay. Got you. Probably in the lower levels. Idiot. 
the atmosphere has that's where I need to go. gotten a lot darker, so that's why I'm kind of envisioning this going. The Oni being a part of this. Jammed. Jammed, you say? We can fix this. It's a jam. Jeez. What? What is it jammed on? Or something, maybe? Nope. There's got to be a way to drop this elevator. Shotgun? Oh, maybe yeah, I can pull it down. Nope. It's a negative. I'm gonna drop the elevator. This is the confusing puzzle. Okay. There's got to be a way to drop this elevator. It does, but I know it. We'll find out together, I guess. Can I go up? Can I go over or around? No. Yeah, on this side I can go up. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, I saw something. Aha! The old hatchet! Animator. Sorry, got it's a, some old school prodigy there. Thank you, Chef. I'm trying. You have to become the elevator in order to solve the problem. And this brings me right back to where it was. It must have. I must have won something. Nobody move! Oh, you're, you're dead. Command to operative. Stop. Trinity is concerned. Stop. Acquisition of star phenomenon unacceptable. Stop. Sabotage of access operation imperative. Stop. Hmm. Speaking of French, that kind of sounded like a French accent. So stop is like their kind of way of like new line or hitting enter on old school communications. So I guess so things didn't get jumbled up or confused. Don't give me one button. Well, there's another button to press, but before I do that, I'm gonna go take a look at what's upstairs. Nothing. Great. Just need to loosen three more and that elevator will fall. Ah, uh, I got it. Yeah, fair point. I'm addicted to salvage, so I'm gonna hit this with some fire. So the shotgun's ready too. I think I'm ready to upgrade a couple of bits and pieces now. So now I think I should go to the upper level maybe, but I'll check out here. Give me some. Easy, easy. Yeah. Not just an archaeologist, but an engineer. Oh, these, these bodies keep freaking me out. 
Thank you, Chef. And welcome back to the Mustang, officially. Hmm. This doesn't really look promising. I, I doubt it would jump like that. I'll do the try. Yeah, okay. No goods up here. You got it. We will. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's some way. That looks deadly. It's going to be satisfying when this thing finally drops. This area looks... Oh, well, that didn't work out, but that looks like something I need to get to. This one looks like it's on that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if that actually helped me with anything, but give it a shot. Anything new and exciting going on with y'all? How's the life fantastic going? Oh, uh, one more level up, maybe? So from here... <laughs> In your house? Bruno? I'll press this button again, just because. The view with Drew. What's up, bud? How are you? Might be able to tie it off and make like a zip line to that somewhere. This is helpful. This is helpful. Maybe up here. Mm. Hey, Drew. 
I appreciate what you're doing, but self-promotion is kind of not what we want to do. If you want to come and hang out for a while, I will happily send my friends to see your friends, but not a great way to start. No offense. So, this didn't help. Where are you hiding? It's gotta be here somewhere. Oops. Sorry, Lara. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I just... This is not gonna help me, but I'll take that. Maybe it will help. Huh. No way. It fell onto the beam. How am I supposed to get that? Yeah, that's what. So I think I'm, what I'm supposed to do, Chrono, is if I use this, see how it turns red? I can throw a rope at it, and if I have a tie down point, I can make a zip line there, or I could just jump up there with the. Pickaxe, but you're right, those little holes on the wall is what we're looking for. I'm just wondering, how do I get up high enough? Maybe I'll try raising this one more time. Come on, come on. Maybe, like, once this is raised up. I can somehow make a, a zip line to it. I got Ooh, whoa, that was close. I don't think that's yeah, that's not useful to me. I mean, it'd be a quick way down. So maybe from there has to be a post though, so that's not not gonna work. But I think we're, we're on the right track. That's definitely my next spot. Oh, wait. No, no. Hey, Jordo. I thought I had something here, but that's nothing. All the way back down to square one. Let's take another peek at everything. So anyway, I can make a tie off from down here. I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. What if I bring it down here? You, come down. Timed thing. I can see some merit in that. That might be a thing. It's got to be a placement, though. There, maybe there's something on top of the... Take one more peek up here. Enigma, you weren't kidding. This is complicated. I think I know what I need to do, but... Oh, nice, Jordo. Winning a game is always, or completing a game is always fun. Sometimes you miss it. Like when I beat The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2, I was like, ah, oh, I don't want this to be over. I want more. More, more. I see where I need to get. I just don't want to get there. There doesn't really appear to be anything. I'm just gonna keep moving it around. Oh, maybe, maybe like this. So if I was in here and I pressed, ah, uh, I think I know what you mean. Now. I think Chrono, you're on something. So if I was to bring it all the way to the bottom floor. So 
for some reason that door is closed. But, oh right, this is the bottom. So if I went to the bottom, and then I ran all the way up to the top, I think you're right, Chrono, it is about timing. It's about timing it so that it comes up to the... What is it? Uh, fourth floor? With me on it. Yep. Yep. And I don't think there's a way for me to... So the same thing, right? Yeah. So I'll just bring it up to the fourth floor. Don't die. Don't die. Yup. Bang. Nice. Good ideating with you, Chrono. You're a legend. I like the orchestral music kind of ringing in. Here it is. Can't wait to get to the next fireplace. Upgrade some weapons. Hopefully there will be one. Pow! I think that did the trick. I think it did too. Now how do I get out of here and stay alive? I'll probably survive this. That was a nice puzzle. Thank you, thank you. That was fun. Actually ended up working out quite nicely. Come on, give me a fireplace. Uh oh. Hello? Hey, anyone there? I hear you. Man, fuck this place. What the hell am I even doing? Show yourself. Like standing right outside the gate. I'm gonna take a risk. Alright, he's walking around. Oh, got stuck on some rebar. Yeah, that was great. It actually worked. No, no, yeah, I know it. I know you've never played it. That's why I don't mind it. That's not a spoiler. That actually helped me quite a bit. Coming back. I wish I had something I could throw to make a distraction for one of them to come down here. Where'd your friend go? Point of interest revealed. Oh, there's something back here. Gotcha, it took two shots. It's a weird mix, right? It's got a little bit of horror, but I see, you know, ancient rulers of Yamatai. Ooh, the Chow Dynasty. Or was there some kind of battle here? Cool. I see how I kind of always wondered why Uncharted sometimes brought in like mysterious, spooky stuff in the games, and I get it now. Because this is obviously a uh, 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 Inspired, but this is what inspired Uncharted. I have no question about it. Thank you, Queen Tasty. I'll see you on Discord and stuff, and then again on Monday. Have a great night and a great weekend. These are not the Oni. These are cult members that are 
basically like they're on the same similar mission as I am to get off the island but they're being led by this crazy dude named Matthias he's the main bad guy but the Oni you'll know them when you see them they're pretty badass they wear like Japanese armor and they're big and they're ruthless And I hope I hope to see more. I hope that comes like I'd be perfectly happy to see some. Especially if they're not, you know, necessarily just killing me. Yep. Yep, you're right. They are, they're like samurai warrior ghosts. They're pretty big guys and they have done some damage. So the main character, Lara, has a, has witnessed. Oh, is it a flashlight? Um, the main character, Laura, has witnessed the other. I saw this from the other view. I saw you hiding in here. Research base, complete map found, new rewards, locations. Okay, so that'll be helpful. Also from back here, I just want to double check something because I saw another room. Here. Where is that? Looks like the same place, right? Oh. Okay, some more salvage. Was that in here? No, right? Yeah, it's an old World War II bunker, and they're using it as like a research place to research the Sun Queen, who controls the weather on this island and basically decimates anybody and doesn't allow anyone to leave. It's a full cart. I gotta know. Nope, not a full cart. So that's why we can't leave, and that's why the ship crashed here. It's kind of like a Bermuda Triangle thing, although we're in Southeast Asia. But it's like this, all these planes and boats uh, that looks like an Oni. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying now, from I know it's a little behind. So it must have fallen through here and then slid down. I get it. I get it. It works pretty well, actually. Lock it. You're right, Kyrie. I genuinely recommend this. I'm not done yet, but if it ended right here, I'd be absolutely fine with this that. It. It's been a very, very good game. Like, I'm I'm ready to put this in, like, my favorite games slots. I don't like to play favorites other than Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't like ranking them, but I just kind of define certain games as favorites, and this is most certainly one of them, because this has been a great trip. Yeah, me too. Me too, Chrono. I'm completely... I'm impressed. It has a lot more depth, and the action is better. I think the shooting action, not to, you know, say anything derogatory about my beloved Uncharted series, but which I still think is one of some of the greatest games I've played. I just have some criticism of the way that they handle gunplay in those games, but it's acceptable. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is... Really, really surprising. Surprisingly good. Not surprising that Uncharted was. Oh, it's not. It's a. Well, let's see what happens. Not surprised that Uncharted was inspired by this game. Buster's getting dusty with the barley, doing some malt milling, which is when you take it from big chunks of full These barley to powder, pretty much. Warriors. They're in Himiko's tomb. They protected her. Oh, that's right. Is this you? Were you some kind of general? You committed seppuku. Seppuku. Harry Carey. <sighs> yeah, especially on Grounded, Drake was not a marksman. It's still sharp.
Kyrie, name some of your childhood games. I'm curious. I have failed, my queen. The ritual was corrupted. The priestess knew only death right, to save her and took her own life. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life, a soul in a decaying body. Oh. The rage became the storms and would not stop while her soul is tied to this earth. My storm guard are sworn to protect her. They must continue. But I cannot. The soul is trapped in a decaying body. That's what's causing the storms. To stop the storms, we need to destroy the body in the ritual chamber. Okay. How the hell am I going to convince the others? I don't exactly know where the game is based, but it has a lot of Japanese lore, and it is in Southeast Asia. Oh, nice. So, um, I believe it is supposed to be somewhere in Southeast Asia. I just don't know where. I don't think it's in Japan, per se, but it's nearby. Alright, I gotta go, but I have no idea where to go. Let's try... Is there anything I can shoot my bow at? I like this scene a lot. Kind of makes me want to take a picture, but it's a little dark. All right, down the stairs we go. Yep. Halo, Mortal Kombat, Prince of Persia. Excellent. Let's see what else you guys got. Who else is here? Oh, 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 oh. Girl, you gotta watch out for those things. Fire, you know what I'm saying? Nice, nice, got him on the way. See, I like it because you can really... Alright, alright, it's just a little fire, you're okay. It's got the same um, luck mechanic of... Wait a minute. Same luck mechanic of Uncharted. You're not bulletproof, you're just, you have a lot of luck. So when you're getting hit, you're not really getting hit. Oh. Let's do some close quarters combat. Oh, shnikes. The guns are pretty old. Those guys were not ready for me. Epic fumble. So that, I, I read about this, that means that I destroyed, oh. I destroyed somebody's explosive and it ended up killing them and the person standing near them. That little trick she does where you can throw sand in your enemy's face. Oh, to you? So close. I got bombed, burned, and sliced. Yep. 
All right, it's gonna start me right back here where they're coming, or stuff's already going down. I've got incendiary shotgun shells too. Did they give that to me? They might have given that to me because those were the last two dudes. Let's see. Or at least it seemed like the last two dudes. I think I won that one. They let me have it. Thank you. Thank you, devs. They called that a draw, because I did shoot those guys close range with a shotgun a couple times. So, nobody's prepared when Rambo Must shows up. I wonder if I can... I wish the sword was still in this guy. It would have been a cool spot to take a picture, but... Not today. Yeah, I mean, they're using all old, like, weapons that they've found on this island, because they've been trapped here. They're not... they can't get off, because any time they try and leave, their boats or planes get struck out of the sky. We've seen it happen a few times in the game already. It, no spoilers, because that's basically the core plot of the storyline, is that they can't leave. And we ended up here because we were on a ship that was going to um, do some archaeological research, and just ended up getting too close to the island, and was shipwrecked. Alright, shout out to this game for letting me just kind of slide there a little bit. I really did feel like I took those two dudes down, so... Get it. There you go. Many, many um, recognizable things and controls, like... It's nice. No flashlights. I like the torch a lot better. It's kind of um, Lara's way. And back before this game, on like PC and I think PlayStation 1 and 2, the Tomb Raider games were a pretty big deal. They weren't the best games in the world. They controlled like kind of tanky, and but it was a really unique thing at the time. It was a really unique and groundbreaking thing. There's a bad Lara Croft movie or Tomb Raider movie with Angelina Jolie. I don't recommend it. It's not very good. Lab, where the hell are you? Oh no, what's uh -oh. happening? We're up here attack. We need help. Damn it. No. I need to get back there. I need more than help. I need a I need a fire so I can upgrade some weapons here. Turn to the survivor camp on the beach. All right. And how do we feel about doing that? Yeah, I kind of like it, right? I like the... It's also pretty limitless. Like, you don't have to worry about batteries or shaking the controller. No offense to games that do that, because those are some good ones, too. But, you know, like the Silent Hill games or The Last of Us rely on flashlights. Start out with a really like handmade bow that's good, but getting the compound bows nice. It's got some longer distance and certainly more power. Uh -oh. I don't want to leave this area without checking everything out. I gotta get down there. You don't get until late in the game, but it's still pretty rad. Better than climbing across. It's one of the only games I've ever played where you can actually climb up a zip line. Subtitles are ugly. A little different. 
right? This lady's been mean to us the entire game. Now you're hurt, you're gonna be nice. Watch. Thanks, thanks. Seriously, I thought that was it for me. There's no sign of him. What happened? During the attack, Whitman took Sam and they disappeared. Damn it, Whitman, He's I told you. Back to Matthias. Double cross. Should have listened. Should have shot him. Listened. Yep. So what's our next move? The boat's fixed now. We should get help. I bet they thought that too. Look, you were right about Whitman. You've but... seen the storms. They target any craft that comes near. The subtitles are kind of ugly. I never really noticed there that. There were scientists here during World War II, and they believed the storms were controlled by something in a ritual chamber near the monastery. Look, I don't have all the answers, but Sam being taken, I know it's linked. And if we try to leave here without understanding why, then we'll all die. Just like the pilots. Just like Roth. Look. Yeah. Whatever's happening here. I guess they changed the color based Laura on the Laura deserves speaking. a shot. Not that we, we can't, can't tell. Go back to their stronghold. It'd be suicide. They won't take her there. Yeah. So they'll take her to the ritual chamber. We can use this inlet to get closer. I understand why, but the readability is a little weird looking. I know you want to get home to your daughter. Believe me, I do. But the fight's not over yet. I'm not asking you to believe, Reyes. I'm asking you to trust. Come on. Okay. Let's Ice get princess. This in the water. She's been icy the whole game. She's been pretty unhappy with Lara at every turn, argumentative. Take the PT boat up the go. river. Come aboard. All right, I'm not quite ready because I want to look at something. So one of the things that I think is really cool about this, while we're talking about design, is um, I don't know if I can find a place. But these like call to action things are actually pretty cool. Like the three-dimensional way that they move in the world around you is pretty damn good. It's well, it's well developed in that sense. All right, Laura, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's go. Hey, no sleeping on the job. Let's go. Everybody on the boat. Maybe this will give me a nice cinematic picture. It's been very dark. Laura, what do you expect to find in there? Do you really want to know? No, but you should tell me anyway. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Sun Queen trapped in a dead body. Her rage is what's causing these storms. If we destroy the body, the storms will stop. Right. And why does Matthias want Sam? I don't know. And that's what's scaring me the most. Look, Look at the gun I know on the back of that thing. Plan. Yeah, and the front. It is. But right now, crazy is all we got. So let's do this. Let's do it. Yo, last night I made some beef lasagna, lots of cheese on it, and sauce. I know I'm the chef, but holy crap, it was good. I, I haven't made lasagna in like a year, and I had some for lunch. Leftovers for lunch was delicious. Yeah, the, the, the call to action symbolism is pretty neat. It actually like moves through the air. It's not just like a flat Let's go. thing. No, I'll need you and Reyes to Definitely. the main entrance while I go in after Sam. You're going in there alone? I agree, that's gotta be. Of being spotted. I need you here taking out as many of those bastards as you can. It won't just be the Solari either. The bastards. Be others, samurai, yes. The Queen Storm I ate the lasagna Look, like Garfield. That's not exactly. me or Sam. Shoot it. Put some parsley in with the ricotta cheese, so this it's kind of goodbye. an herb cheese. I'm not gonna say goodbye. We got your back, Laura. Right on. Finally, you all are useful for something. Go. Lighting looks cool here. What are we gonna have in the background? Uh, not much. Enter the monastery. Oh, you know what? I should have used a. Crap. Well, alright. I should have used the campfire to upgrade my weapons. Hopefully, there's some sort of upgrade here or campfire that I can use. I don't know if there is. I'm gonna find out. A man can hope. I got so excited about moving on. I was just like, forget it. I'm ready. Let's go. I wasn't ready. Sam, she's still alive. And the good doctor. The good doctor. Who are these? The storm god. P. 
people. They guard the monastery. They wait only to be introduced to their new queen by the one who brought her back to us. <sighs> of course, of course. I've encountered these archaic tribes before. <sighs> Let's get some awards, James. Yeah, I think she does have black. Yeah, she has black hair. My name is Dr. James Whitman. James, is a bad idea. I, come to I can't wait peace. to see this man die. I bring you your new queen. Oh, no. Your yeah. queen. Yeah, they do look like Mongols. What is it in Japanese? Uh, your Joe. My no! 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 The moment we've all been waiting for, let's be honest. He used him as bait. Yes, goes to Tsushima. Love that game, as you know. Come on, just give me. I'm not gonna have a fireplace. Oh, what are you doing over here? What were you doing when you died? Looks pretty sus. Not even trying to be funny, that's exactly what that looks like. Skeleton is with <laughs> waiting for GTA 6. I like it. Fairly accurate, too. Oh, I made a huge mistake not upgrading my guns, but whatever. I've done worse. Oh, here we go. So from here. Yes. One last stop. One last fire. At the fire, you can upgrade your weapons and other stuff. It's not going to do it, though. I know it's not going to do it. Sorry, Lara. We asked you if you were ready, and you said yes. Yeah, the, all the statues and like the lore of this game has been very cool, and it's mixed too, because some of it's like old, old historic stuff. After all these years. Sometimes it's World War II. Sometimes it seems like it could be a mix of lots of things, more modern stuff. blowing that stuff up is on the agenda. Don't mind if I do. That's how we do it. Look at this. 
So they're taking Sam to sacrifice her. And I'm not cool with it. I might get caught doing this, but I'm just curious. Keep your head down. an army of these dudes. Do I just get to watch? No. What if I like hit him with a grenade? Look, there's a whole bunch of them. There's got to be something I can do here. So sketch, Lara, you're crazy. Clearly, clearly they mean business. I like the sound too of the um Crash Bandicoot. Uh, out to the beach. Come on, campfire. Be there. Be there for me, campfire. No. No. Oh, man. And now Lara's somewhat hurt. Shotgun time. Feel. Oh. Come on, just keep coming at me. Yeah, how do you like me now? Wow, these guys are tough. Usually that's a killer move. How can they Trophy be earned Widowmaker. More trophies. Yeah, they don't look happy at all. We got rats. safe spot for me to upgrade my weapons. This is what I was talking about, John. The way that these work. It's pretty cool. I know he must be talking about the last Sun Queen, but I don't understand what Himiko has to do with this. She was the first queen. Somehow Matthias thinks Sam's connected, and that can't be good. Damn you, Whitman, you'll do anything for a story. Yeah, a jerk. I know the answer is inside that ritual chamber, but getting to it won't be easy. The Storm Guard are devoted to guarding it. I know I have to do this, but I'm so scared of what I'm going to find in there. This is her diary, so I like listening to them. So upgrading the competition from the compound bow to the competition bow. Let's see what this thing. And from the pump shotgun to a combat shotgun. And... No, that's it. See, I like the way that these stay like this. So it's pretty smart. I like this is like kind of a cool looking aesthetic in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you completely. And you, it's the same thing like you pick up relics and talk about where they came from and what they are and stuff. It's interesting. So right now, I don't really need any survival upgrades. I think I'm fully upgraded on Brawler. Hunter is going to give me, yeah, I'm going to go for 
uh, rifle expert because I think I'm gonna get into some trouble right here. So rifle expert, unload your rifle at close range to brutally finish enemies and earn bonus rewards. Or pistol, execute enemies point blank. Mm. Did I get explosive arrows? I'll have to take a look. I think so far I've only got flaming arrows. So I think I'm gonna go with rifle on this, but I'll take a quick look. Maybe there's something in survivor that'll make me tougher. Arrow retrieval, scavenging, climber's agility, cartography, I don't need that. Nah, I'm doing pretty good, so I am gonna go with pistol, uh, rifle, sorry. Rifle expert, ding. Press triangle to finish stun enemies with the rifle and earn bonus XP. Okay. Now let's see what's available. I've got some stuff. Plus I want to take a look at this new bow. Pro. Looks like a pro bow. So it's a little slimmer on the arms, looks like. And what came along with that? Uh, napalm arrows. Explosive arrows. Uh, Enigma, are you implying that I should have explosive arrows? Because I think that sounds fun. Yeah, I'm going with it. That sounds fun. I don't even have to wait. And for this last scene, I probably will stay with... What outfit? Guerrilla is cool. You know what? I'm gonna stay pure. I'm gonna stay with you. just a plain old, plain old Lara. Nine out of ten Lara's journals. Does that mean there's one more? One more break? Ah, the bow has zoom. Okay, that's helpful. I don't know if that's new to this one, but. Here goes. I'm a little terrified, but also pretty excited about what's happening. Okay, I see there's the grenade. All right. Busted. Coming for you, Sam. Just chill. Auntie Laura's here to save the day. Uh, Whatever. Here they come. Get on that gun. I got this gun. Call on Tokyo. Who's that? Come on, you bastard. Did you see that person? Hmm. Mysterious. Uh, this does not look like a great place to be. Shotgun shells. Right, I'll bring that up. Make sure I've got the incendiaries. Yep. I feel like I'm seeing things. I thought I saw a guy moving around again. This bridge seems fine. We're gonna make it after all. Uh, nope. Oh. So, here we go. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just 
just watching might just use a death on this. Holy crap. Critical shot. All right, I gotta. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he's dead. Damn, these guys are legit. I don't know what else to do but run. I'm trying to lead them. Do Valhalla. It's the best you got? That was the best of your best, huh? Okay. I'll loot you. Make sure to pick up ammo too. That was fun. These guys are tough, but with these explosive barrels hanging around, it's a little, a little bit easier. Mm. You're kidding me, right? Okay. It's not going to work. I'm running out of options here. Yeah! <laughs> That's sick. That was an explosive. This ain't going well. knowing you and everything. Sorry, our friendship didn't work out. I have another bum. Where you at? Oh, I see you. <laughs> the noise he made. Why did that remind me of Bowser a little bit? From the Nintendo Mario Brothers series. Just in case they keep me here. Oh, I see you. Kind of feeling like a boss right now. I don't know if anybody else is noticing this. But things are working. Except for my ankles, they're done. Yeah, 
these drums. It's like war drums. I don't know what you call that kind of like Japanese style drum, but I recognize it. Who else wants to party? Nobody? What else can I pull down for you? Too far. Heck yeah, Enigma. I got the upgrades. Thank goodness there was another. I'm not sure what I really would have done without that. I needed those upgrades, and thanks for pointing out the explosive arrows. I didn't even know those were a thing. with the silencer. I'm not safe, but... Sick. That felt skilled. I got lucky right there, but it did feel like skill. Let's take a quick peek around. <laughs> Could be me, I'm sort of crapping my pants right now. Ah, oh, that was a missed opportunity. I could have bombed those dudes from here. Let's see if they got anybody else. Soccer, explosive soccer. Um, is this 
ain't good. Oops. Trying to cycle my weapons so I don't completely run out. Uh, I'm gonna use the old-fashioned one here. Come on. Nope. Had to take one for the team there. There was no way I was fighting all those dudes. Yeah, headshot, moving headshot. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, you're damn right. Laura Hungry, Dude Raider prevails. Really, am I free? That was a great headshot, one for the ages. What's happening here? I gotta load up. Bear with me while I do all the damage I cause. That looks kind of dangerous with all the fire around those explosive barrels. Go ahead and stay away. I'm not gonna pull that down yet because I want to see if there's anything else here. I doubt there's any collectibles, but then again, you never know. I like the takedown with the pistol too, that worked out really well for me. This is a cool feature too, where you can pull down cover points, so the enemy can't take cover and it's too late. I feel like I'm not going to like what comes after this, but here we go. That's a big doorway, and I've been hearing that Oni, he sounds very angry. So just in case, I'm going to arm up explosive shells. Silenced, yep. And then got grenades. Alright, ready in. Nothing important up here. Time to go. Oh, don't go off the cliff though. No way. Huh. Unlucky. That's one way to get around an Ona. Oni? Oda? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Could they have visited this island before the rise of Yamatai? Kansu Burley Burial Urn. I don't think there's anything here, but you could fast travel your way out at this point. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm doing well with arrows. Let me see if the shotgun needs any love. Yeah, almost there. Drum mag? Yeah. Shotgun has been very, very helpful. I'm pleased with that. 
And I realize I've got her in her Indiana Jones outfit, but I'm cool with that. <clears throat> I'll stay with her. Ammo galore. Something came up on the map here. Point of interest. Treasure here somewhere? Not that I see. Maybe it's beyond. Ah, here. There it is. One skill point. We Trophy never, earned historian. Never had a chance. They were waiting for us. Hundreds of them. We never even made it to the sacred chamber. From the beginning, we were doomed. And now, I wait for my ancestors to take me. I can hear them. The only are killing my brothers. Eating them. Consuming their souls. Damn. So much death. I... I'm the last one. What is my fate? Will I become one of them? Ancestors, hear me. Please, take me away from this. Before the only come for me. Please, take me to the afterlife. Let me die in peace. So that's six out of six wartime intelligent documents, so I must have found one collection of wartime... That's why I got the trophy, or one collection of documents. So I found everything that this man said. From all the way back there to all the way here. It's kind of cool. I missed a few in the Coastal Forest about the Endurance crew. Yeah, it's cool. Man, I'm gonna go right back here and spend another skill point. I'm just moving up. Pistol expert seems useful, because I don't think any of these other things are, like scavenging, arrow retrieval, climber's agility, that doesn't make a difference to me right now. So I'm going to go with pistol. I do like using the pistol. Finish stunned enemies with the pistol and earn. Look at that. Ah, that's good. Full, full. Put it loaded up. I've already taken care of a bunch of the defenders and an Oni. Oh. Oh, what happened in here? Oh, this must, must be where they maybe feed the Oni? Alright, there might be some good lighting here to take a photo or something. Looks like a giant coin. Lighting is right. Just wish I could get. Hey, Edward. How you doing? Doing pretty good here. Enjoying this game quite a bit. Maybe one like this. You can actually see where she's standing. How'd your day go, Edward? forward. See any snacks left behind? Great. I've seen 
finding similar artifacts from the Ban Jain site in Thailand. Ban Jain. How did this get all the way to Yamatai? No race week, although I heard that one of the Ferrari drivers misunderstood and got his calendar screwed up, so he's in China already. Charles Leclerc. It's rumored that he is already in China, even though the race isn't until next week. Kind of funny, Gasper. I like Charles, but someone on his team is probably going to get fired for that one. Point of interest. Show me. There's a, something over here. There's a map here, too. Show me what you're hiding. Oh, I see. Chill day at work, Edward. It was busy, but nothing I can't handle. And so far, enjoying well, this game a lot. Laura Here's left weapon. me no choice. I, if I thought she Don't could play the Lara. game, I might have let her in on my plan. But she doesn't have the grit for this business. She isn't ruthless enough. And and this discovery has to be mine. I've crossed the line, it had been. This guy. It won't look good, so as unfortunate as it may be, she can't make it off this island. None of them can. And whatever happens with Sam, it just makes this whole story all the more newsworthy. I don't think Matthias or his Solari can be reasoned with, so I'll, I'll need to slip away as soon as this ritual is completed. Yeah, I'm just gonna slip away. I'll make the perfect sole survivor, returning with the authorities, the cameras, and an appropriately convincing expression of sorrow. Uh -huh. Edward, I hear you. I watched that. I, I saw him getting out of the car and getting chased down. There's been a, a lot of that lately, but like you said, it's kind of normal for the area. Alright, let's see what this thing does. Okay, that did not do it. see what's coming ahead. Looks like I have quite a ways to go and one more place to stop. If this is Chasm Monastery, I already did this. Chasm Stronghold, been through there. Alright, I'm, I'm getting good, getting good. You ain't kidding, Buster. I wouldn't want to be around any of that. Who do we have here? And what? More importantly, what? What's up, fools? Need to get up there somehow. Probably 
close this. Yep. Yeah, this is Tomb Raider. It's the definitive edition, so it's the remaster or remake. I don't know what it is. It's either a remaster or a remake. I don't know. I think it's a remaster. Or PS4. Gloves? Buster? Is that what they say, guys? They can't get the gloves. Nope. My plan did not work. But I think I'm onto something. That they can hit hard? That's another good one. Out for the dudes with the big mitts. So close. Oh, so close. So very close. <laughs> I think I'm on the right path. I just don't quite know. Maybe I can jump onto it when it's coming towards me. Yeah, she doesn't seem to want to grab onto it at that point. it up and then do the same thing from up top we'll try that maybe bringing it down is a bad idea oh that's not good Just, just the um, point of interest. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. I just need to get a, a way to get onto it like this. No. Oh. Ouch. I think I'm getting close though. That's got to be it. That's what I'm thinking. I think you're right. It's just wet. Come on. Ah, she can't get to it. That is too far.
It's a bit of a head scratcher too. It's a good puzzle though. I do wish there was a way that I could raise it up. Put it low. And try the same thing. Maybe I can jump on top of it from up top. Seems like possible. This looks right. Yep. I can make this jump. You can. I believe in you. Nice job. Nice job, Lara. Right into trouble. The Sun Queens. The fire ritual where the Queen chooses her successor. The chosen priestess enters the monastery. And she's given your power and becomes the new Queen. Wait a minute. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life, a soul in a decaying body. Vessels. Got it's it. not transferring power. It's transferring a soul. All these queens, they're all you, Himiko. First and last. Oh, God. And now you want Sam. Maybe, though. Sam, a vessel for the Queen's soul. I've got to stop this madness. I don't know if you can. You can try. I'm down to try. Let's find out. Let's learn some more stuff. I have no choice now but to meet my fate. Tonight, I climb the stairs to the Chamber of the Sun. But I will never submit to the ritual. I will not emerge queen. None will ever believe what I now know to be the truth. A twisted evil beyond imagining lives within the Sun Queen. An evil that hungers for more than just the land and seas of Yamatai. This madness cannot continue. So I go to the chamber, armed with the stolen dagger of her Stormguard General. By the time he realizes what I have done, it will be too late. For the sake of Yamatai and all the priestesses that would follow me, I must die. Okay, so Hoshi, who we've been following through, she's an ancient. She had a stolen dagger, and what was she gonna do? Kill the Sun Queen? Like maybe she was gonna give herself up as a new vessel for her? Just pull this down while I'm here, just in case I need to make a quick exit. Oops. But it's there, so I don't have to mess with it again. No hidden tricks here. Alright, no other candy. Salvage. Looks like another bit to read. Where? Sorry, it's in like the next room. All right. All right then. That is a sick statue. I need to get that like in front of my house. Keep the riffraff out. Okay, so this might be my final spot. Hey, it's called Point of No Return. Lara is unable to fast travel after this camp or from this camp. I don't care because I'm not fast traveling. Porcelain vase, probably early Edo period. Very nice. Good news, Buster's daughter got accepted to her number first choice school. That's great, good for her. Something healthcare related, she wants to work as an ambulance, like an EMT, that's a great idea. 
Alright, so if I wanted to, I could fast travel out of here, I guess, so that I could go and, like, level up. If somehow you got here without leveling up. I don't know how one would do that, but I guess you could do it. Put them in the middle of the lanterns. Yeah, that's pretty good. Excuse me, just taking a quick picture. I just want to take a few pictures. Alright, point of no return is here. I'm down for it. Uh, usually I would end it this time, but I'm just going to keep moving. I got all night to get ready for camping this weekend. Since I'm not doing a Saturday stream, I can justify staying a little bit longer. No Friday, no Saturday this week. This is technically Saturday. Chasm Ziggurat. There's a big Buddha. Way up there, there's Buddha. And some other stuff going on here. Pretty cool design. I have seven grenades, bunch of bullets. Weather's not treating me real well right now, but it's okay. Most of your men. I've killed most of your people. There are no heroes here. Only survivors. Himiko's dangerous, Mathias. She's angry, she's vengeful, and she has real power. A mere mortal for a queen? A good trade for our freedom, I say. Arguable. Jump. Okay, it's time. Pistol's hot. It is absolutely time for reckoning. A lot of the games I play end up with Papa Bear being angry, and I think at this moment, Mama Bear is angry. I can't wait to see Matthias, Matthias, whatever his name is, I can't wait to see him go down. He, he has deserved it for quite a while. Certainly a hateable character at the very least. Go from here. Guide me. Oh, sir. Nope. Oh, all right. Gotcha. So is it just me and Matthias at this point? Uh, snow physics looks pretty good for an older game.
seems so familiar. Set a little bit here. Too long to end now. Luck, luck, very lucky. Tried. Get to the boat. If I'm not back, we're not leaving without you. We'll be waiting. That was kind of an accident. <laughs> I hit square and panic. And it actually works. I like this. This is testing like all of the mountaineering skills. And sort of like deduction skills. Figuring out what you're supposed to do when. Right by the Buddha. Oh. <laughs> Oops. How we doing? Y'all still with me? If you've left because you don't want to be spoiled by the end of the game, I understand. I think I'm here. I think this is it. So is this like a drop down moment again? I think it might be. I'm gonna give it a shot. Nope. Nope. No. Whoops. Good. Glad you're here, Enigma. Okay, there's like a there's like a s s maybe something over here a little bit. It's a little bit of a leap of faith, I think. Nope. 
That ain't it. It must be down. I see another spot right there where I could could hook onto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't catch it the first time. Hi, Buddha. How you doing? Ah, okay. Another new camp. So this, if those... The point of no return was just simply saying the camps after this point won't allow you. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it moving. Place is just falling to pieces. the sniper. Explosive arrows when I can. I'm ready. Gunslinger. Oops. I 
as well unload a bunch of pistol on these guys. I think I just heard somebody say, brother, brother. He said, she's shooting at us. Headshot. Dead by your own fire. All right, all right, Laura, you're cool. You're cool, everything's fine. Just keep it together. Stay relatively in cover. Sam, help me out there a little bit, maybe? Shot. Who else wants to come test? Headshot. Damn. a decent little cover spot. Oh, not that good. Whoa. Enough of that. Enough of that. I've had enough of you and your garbage. This whole scene is very, very well made so far. I like it. It's not quite as, I mean, I'm sure it's getting difficult, but I'm also a badass, so. But it's not quite as brain crushing as some of the Uncharted bosses were, but I think because a lot of this, the weapons just work so much smoother. Oh, leap of faith. Yep, I'm here, I'm here. shooting at? Ah, uh, that's who they're shooting at. Storm guards. And that appears to be an army. Badass. Crush you. What are you all about? Ah, shot your tail.
that did not work. serve ah he has no armor on his back that's what's going on here what are you laughing at yes <laughs> That burns a little bit, huh? The kill shot. Awesome. Oh no. Okay, he helped me. He helped me a little bit. Ouch, 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 ouch. Good. That felt pretty good. Kill shot. Ration him. It's just not going down. No, 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 no. Damn, damn! I was doing so good on him. I guess not not killing him in the first moment. Kind of makes sense. doomed. Hill shot? Again? Finish him off. Come on, finish him. Yeah. <laughs> Laura's that bad. What a brute. Even the Ani doesn't stand a chance. Do I get some special something from him? Come on, you gotta give me something. I don't know what to do or where to go. But I guess... Okay, 
Okay, so there's going to be some QTEs here. Not my best skill set. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Keep hitting him a couple times. Oh, the classic Lara. Yeah, so in the original game, she classically carried two pistols. Sick. That was awesome. Great throwback. Well, nice, not an Easter egg necessarily, but a nice little throwback. Shoot this thing. because we killed the Sun Queen who was controlling the weather on this island. That's cool. It's a nice little bit. I can't get over the double-fisted pistols, though. That was awesome. And if I remember right... Well, I don't know if I could say. I don't know if they automatically cycled on you or if you really did use the triggers to do it. I don't remember. I guess the first PlayStation 1 controller didn't have triggers. Did it? Yeah, I guess it did just have like one on each side. L1 or L2. There's Laura. Sorry, L2 or R2. She's got Sam! But they were called L1, R1. She did it. I don't know. Did, it? did they have triggers? a lot of characters, Whitman died, Alec, so Alan, Alex died, so the old man died, whatever his name was. I resented my father, doubted him like the rest, but he was right about so much. I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories, but the line between our myth and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. I must understand. Setting us up for a sequel and all that good stuff. By those wounds, I don't want to know. Oh, I just got a little book. Never going home. Yep, this is a killer game. Thank you, Enigma. The survivor is born. Brilliant, brilliant game. That was fun. hope you've enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. We've worked our hardest to bring you the best game we could possibly make. Thank you for taking the time to complete the game. Way to go, Crystal Dynamics. That was a real fun game. Oh, we even have pictures. These guys, this team had a lot of smart ideas. 
I think this is a super well-rounded third-person shooter. Not too difficult, not too easy. And look at the guy with the sideways hat on. He's street. You can tell because he's wearing a fleece over his vest. And that guy behind him has an Eidos shirt on. So maybe that's a throwback to... Maybe Eidos is the company that made the first Tomb Raider. Pretty damn cool. Nice pick, Enigma. Nicely done. And Arthur and Buster and whomever else might be lurking right now. Thanks for staying so late. I do want to check out some of like the concept art and the comic book and stuff that's in the features, but... <laughs> Look at the mustache on that. Okay, those are not real mustaches. <laughs> or at least three of them are not real mustaches. Great graphics for the time, like not, and really stand up today. I mean, I wouldn't stand them up next to like a modern PS5 or something like that, but they were really good. Gameplay was killer. Story was good. I liked finding things. I really liked the upgrade path for the weapons. That was not terribly hard, and I, I like that. I don't want to have to grind in order to become a god. Yeah, it's really neat that they... I, like, I'm really impressed that they put these pictures in here. I don't think we've seen... A, I've seen a lot of credits in the last two years, and I don't think I've seen a single one of them use pictures of the team. It may be a picture or two of, like, the, the head developers or something, but... Right? Yeah, we haven't seen this. I love it. It's really cool. It adds a lot of, like... Yes, I don't know these people, but it's a lot better than just watching names scroll by. I'm assuming, as it said, that's, like, the main teams that worked on the, on the game, and then all this other stuff are people that helped. I wonder where this was made. It'll probably tell us. Sometimes they have, like, credits that say Montreal team or whatever, wherever it was made. Oh, this poor girl. Human Resources Manager, Amy Shat. That's sad. Sorry, Amy. It's a tough, tough break. Clint Wasted. That's also kind of a tough name. Yeah, more pictures. This is cool. And of QA. The unsung hero of a lot of games. Without those faces, they wouldn't have... The, the games would be released full of bugs. Huh. Eidos Montreal. A lot of game development happening in Montreal. I don't know if it always is there, but a lot of it, like, it seems there's a lot of tech up there. Love Montreal, as I've said a million times. Great city. Gets a little cold there in the wintertime, but nice place to visit. <laughs> Buster, you catch what I'm saying, right? Like, Amy's got to do better because Amy's shat. Poor thing. I don't mean to make fun of anybody with the name. She had no choice. And how are you going to name your child anything? Oh, it always ends with shat. I'd probably consider adding a letter or two to my name. Make it like Chateau or Chati or Chaten, something like that. No, Chaten is not good. Amy Shatton. I, I always, these are always long and I worry about skipping them because sometimes they put things maybe at the end that you don't normally get to see. Like, movies have ruined me by putting trailers and stuff into the ends of these. But I don't know if there is anything at the end. I'm just going to hang out here for a few minutes. I hope you have the time. Arthur, thank you for staying up late. I know it's very late where you are. Thank you for staying on the moderator. Um, on, on watch as moderator. Appreciate you. And I'm trying to move the controller to see if I can speed this up, but I can't.
I guess the only thing I take away from the pictures that could be seen as a negative is you could see what a male-dominated industry this is. But I bet that's different now. Like, I, I think there's, it's probably changed quite a bit, even in the last 10, 11 years. Great to have you here. Thank you, Arthur. It's nice to see, too. This, this one has such a nice soundtrack. I'm, it's, I'm pleasantly just sitting here listening to it. I'm sad, because I don't think you could ever do... I don't know if the online game is still alive, but I looked at some of the online trophies and they require a lot of work, and uh, I don't know if there's even an online element to this anymore. So there's no chance of platinum, at, or it's a very rare chance of platinum at this point, I think. I hope the game developers learn from that, because I think the, it's nice to make people play the online version of the game, but I like when you get a game where it's like, the platinum requirements are for the game, and then they have like another set of requirements for the online part of it, maybe another set of requirements for the DLC, so that you can still platinum the main game, but not have to do the other things. But at a glance, it didn't look like, I don't know how multiplayer would be on this. Maybe there's still a community, but... I don't think it's something I could do. there was a more modern Tomb Raider game because I only know of the one with um, Angelina Jolie but there's one with Alicia Vikander huh I'll have to check that out I wonder if it's any good has anybody seen it I'm actually looking to see if there's anything after the credits <clears throat> Skipped. <laughs> Skip. All right, now, I won't take up too much more of your time, but I just want to take a look through some of the things that unlocked. I kept seeing things on screen saying, like, this unlocked or that unlocked, and I do want to glance through. Um, I want to glance through the comic books. Congratulations, you've completed the story with an overall completion of 80%. You may return to the island by selecting continue in order to complete any of activities. 80% is pretty good. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, and I don't know if that's necessarily fair, right, Arthur? Like, I, I wish they would split them up. Yeah, I, I really, I mean, an RDO, or Red Dead Redemption 2, was not bad. I think there was only, like, five or six, maybe? I, I didn't feel like, oh, uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm understating it, but I don't know. I just wish they would split them up. I don't think I should have to play multiplayer to, um, I guess I can invite some people to play online, let's look at extra, I don't think I should have to play multiplayer to platinum the game, I'll just say it. Alright, real quick, some concept art, okay, so some of this is still locked. Let's see what Stormguard concepts were. Neat. 
That guy on the right looks like something right out of Mortal Kombat, but like rustic. Oh, look at the one with multiple faces on the left. That's radical. What a cool helmet. And then, of course, I think that's a... Those are stalkers. So those are the big ones, not Ani. They're just stalkers. Matias. They stayed pretty true to that. He looks a little different, but his clothing were the same at the end. can't believe he was barefoot. What a legend. Vladimir. He was the first dude. And Solari Tank, that was a fun fight. That was really cool. Set me up pretty well. The Solari themselves, yep, yeah, those look familiar. Just killed a million of these. Those guys were annoying, but shot them quickly enough you could really they had gasoline on their back for some reason. And it looks like he has a giant bottle of hot sauce attached to his belt. I doubt it's hot sauce, but that's what I think that is. Another tank. Although I don't remember seeing the tank in the middle. Yeah, I guess I did. I guess I ran into some of those, but they just look different. Huh. Yeah, I love looking at concept art. I wish I was skilled enough to make art like this, because it's so cool. See, I remember the Enforcer more. They look familiar. And of course, the men with the riot shield. It's a guy with a compound bow. Oh, the prisoners. I feel like I've seen that middle guy at a concert before. Like he's a festival guy. Yeah, like Coachella. Looked at the endurance already. So many of these are locked, so you must have to do more. That's not interesting. Let's move on to character models. We got Jonah's character model. Of course, we've got Alex. This is neat. We could show you like the assets. Endurance deck hand. Huh. Innocent Laura, and then Laura. Look at her. The way her, her like body language changes. Cool. It's neat that they're able to animate these characters, like, and then survive her. This must be her, like, final form. This is when she's first on the boat. This is after she kills a few people. And this is, like, the end. Let's take a look through this comic book. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to look at it. And then, of course, it starts with Whitman. Oh, cool, so it brings you... I have some um, comics like this, like digital comics, that kind of bring you through frame by frame. I'll have to sit down and read this one. How long is this? Oh, it's all the pre... Um, it's pre-story. So this is like before they even got on the boat. So it's kind of like a pretty cool story to what happens. And they tell a story about how Roth and the captain of the ship know each other. Cool. Huh. And about the some other people. That's a cool shot. Zoom in on her um, baseball cap. She did, she did go from a very innocent, and I you know, I said that, like, the Tomb Raider that I was familiar with was just, like, hardcore, like, unstoppable force, and I never remember them portraying her as anything but that. I love, I like the way, and this looks like it tells the story, I really like the way that they built her character out like that. Oh, did a great job of making all this stuff come to life, too. This looks very much, I mean, it's more stylized and more detailed, but this, this looks very much like a lot of the levels, a lot of the scenes. Oh, well, remember the parachute? I kept running into the trees. It sucked. I like how at the end they put, like, that message, like, we worked very hard on this game. Thank you for completing it. 
In some ways, they worked very hard on finding unique ways to kill Laura, which I thought was interesting. There's the gun with the blasted out barrel. This would be a cool, like, coffee table book to own. I bet you there's a printed version of this. And if there isn't, they should. How neat they give you a little character side by side, showing their their gear. That's neat. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I don't need to see the definitive edition of credits. Great game. I think I'm good. This has been a good session, but two hours and 40 something, probably 2.30 to beat the game. So it was well-timed. Enigma was right to finish the game. Um, I think I'll leave it here. It's great hanging with y'all. The next time I will see you, at least in this seat, will be on Monday at 3 p.m. Los Angeles time. I'll be playing some Red Dead Redemption 2, going for gold missions. Between now and then, I got some stuff to do. I gotta go get the camper ready, make sure it's all ready and got fresh water and um, ready to roll. We'll roll out tomorrow afternoon and go do some camping on the beach. I'll be sure to share pictures in Discord. If you're not subscribed already, now is a great time to do so. I do make content pretty much every day of the week. I try. And I at least do live streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays with the exception of times when I travel and do other things or if work gets in the way. It's pretty rare. I'm pretty on schedule. But anyway, one more shout out to Enigma for recommending Tomb Raider. It was a great game. I'm ready to add this to my list of favorite games of all time. Really good. It's not my favorite game of all time. That's Red Dead Redemption 2. But this is on my list of favorites for sure. Uh, I recommend it if you're even considering playing it. If you're here, you just saw the ending, but it's worth it. I think it's a good game. Anyway, uh, be good. And until next time, Peace, love, and burritos. See you.